Hi, Cancer. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. Could be talking about someone else and your, okay, energy. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, and um, also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see, Cancer, what's going on with you guys? What's going on for Cancer Spirit? What do they need to know? And here at this time, messages for Cancer. Messages for Cancer. Let's see. Definitely make sure you guys check out the description box below. I have my P.O. box there so you guys can send me things, okay? And um, I'm going to list the decks that I'm using, okay, in the description box because I know y'all be liking my decks, all right? So let's see. Let's see. So we have talking good shit. People like what you got going on, talking about your achievements and your accolades. Okay. So a lot of good uh, talk about whatever you're doing for work, possibly, or whatever. Just you in general. Okay. A lot of people fuck with you. Yeah, you're an earth angel. Yeah, that's why. Your aura is divine. That's why. Whether you're a man or woman, doesn't matter. Right? Okay. Shady wanted to. So it says shady, giving the impression of dishonesty questionable suspicious and untrustworthy i feel like if there's somebody here around you that's gossiping about you or trying to get other people to turn against you they're saying good shit about you like bitch whatever you're saying it doesn't even add up you're not making any sense whoever the shady person is they could be talking shit and and whatever to other people and the other people are like well this person is doing this and this person is doing that or this person is minding their business why are you so pressed you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the shit that somebody is saying about you is not adding up. Because people are watching you and the more that they watch you or the more that this person talks shit about you to other people, the more you are gaining recognition. It's crazy. It's crazy how that works. All right, so we have disappointment. Things not going in your favor. Someone or something has caused sorrow and a trickster. They're the ones disappointed. For some of you, this person could have did something to you that caused you to feel like this, disappointed or sad about something, you know, but they fin it's finna backfire, whatever the fuck they did. But it says money problems. Someone could be in debt to their credit cards, burning through cash, irresponsible with money. It's probably their, their loser ass. Yeah, then we have moocher. Someone who survives off, off another's income. One who even if they are, if they have their own money, will use someone else's first. Yeah, finessing. Yeah, somebody's just, I don't know, a loser. So let's see, Cancer, what's going on for y'all? Talking good shit, Spirit. Why is this here for Cancer? Somebody's name could be Sonia, Samuel, or Samuel. However you say it, right? S-A-M-U-E-L or S-A-M-E-U-L. Let's see. What's talking good shit? Four of Cups, yeah. So feeling ignored, a missed opportunity, feeling left out in the cold, something is at a stalemate for somebody. Okay, but let's see. What is talking good shit here? I'm hearing somebody could have gotten pulled over or they're getting pulled over here. Okay, yeah, so eight of cups in reverse. This could be somebody wanting to come back to you with the eight of cups in reverse, somebody returning. I feel like because somebody see that you have some good shit going on, somebody wants to come back, but they're still having abandonment issues and security issues. Um, somebody here acting like they're happy or faking their happiness here. This person is miserable, okay. Hmm. Let's see, what's talking good shit with the Eight of Cups in reverse? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Will of Fortune in reverse. So bad karma is something not turning in someone's favor. They're disappointed. It does say it here. So I feel like that's them and not you. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah. Libra here with the Three of Swords. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. 
but definitely something not turning in someone's favor here this is bad karma they ass is stuck somewhere they are stuck in misery somebody here is refusing to go within to do the introspection just like i don't know but they are trying to return though because they're getting this bad karma what else we're talking this shit there's a lot of upheaval and chaos going on it's yeah with the star in reverse somebody's in despair somebody's in despair they're sad they're losing faith here this is somebody that feels like a lack of inspiration they don't feel too good right now whoever this is this is a bad omen something just not turning out right yeah hmm. what's this eight of cups in reverse for cancer the two of pentacles in reverse yeah this is somebody that's having a hard time balancing their finances here. They're they're struggling financially. This could be just a financial mess. Somebody's in debt really bad or something like that. They feel I feel like this person feels really unbalanced without you. Whoever this is doesn't know how to manage their life without you. And you over here coming up like <laughs> You know, it's crazy how people do you, but then they just, they, they, they get like this. And it's like, bitch, you shouldn't have did what you did. That should be crazy, really. Yeah, so something is off balance with this person. Whoever this is that's getting this karma. What's this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Yeah, five of wands. There, there's like chaos and conflict going on. There's people, it could be multiple people around you that are mad they're upset like they want to fight or they're arguing yeah the tower five of swords yeah there is some conflict here a lot of it somebody's like either getting bullied or talked about or this is what they try to do to you and it backfired yeah they made you have to like stand your ground and defend yourself this person could have knocked you off balance for a while but whoever this is they ass is stuck in this drama Whoever this is, they, they they maybe they like drama at first, or maybe they, I don't know, but they ass is getting it real fucking bad. Yeah, what's the star in reverse? Mm. The queen of cups in reverse. So for some of you, this is a feminine here. Man or woman, doesn't matter. But the queen of cups in reverse is somebody that's very vindictive, very shady. They are very spiteful, very emotionally manipulative. They could be even emotionally abusive. This is somebody that's like clingy, they're needy, they're codependent. They're just like a mess. They're a mess. Hmm, what's this Queen of Cups in reverse? This could be a mother for some of you, um, some type of mother figure. Okay, yeah, Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody that feels discontent, unhappy, miserable. They're, they're stuck, they're at a stalemate in their life. They're missing out on opportunities here because they're focused, they're too busy focused on you. Uh, like, that's that's what the issue is. Feel like you could have been very nice to this person or over giving to this person i feel like now you don't have no emotions for them you don't trust them anymore you don't trust them anymore so you could be ignoring an offer or turning this person down but definitely they missed an opportunity with you and that's just what it is yeah this person has blocked has a block intuition uh, uh a creative blockage they could be experiencing somebody here that just lacks empathy compassion for others and so because of that, that's this is what they're receiving. <laughs> so, okay, what's shady? Y'all's reading to be straight to the point, Cancer. Okay, yeah, the sun. Yeah, they've been exposed for this shady behavior. Whoever this is. Could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah. What is shady? So this could be somebody that you've always questioned. Like It's like you've always seen that they've been shady towards you or been mean. Or there's something about them that's been off, but they really haven't revealed them, their true selves or hasn't came out or you haven't seen any evidence of it. It's because they've been trying to hide it. That's why. But they're being exposed now. What's the shady with the sun? It's like they've always been suspicious to you, but you never really looked into it. Really? What's the shady with the sun and the eight of wands? Because you don't want to falsely accuse someone or assume that somebody's a loser. But I feel like you know now they are. Could be dealing with the Taurus here with the Hierophant. Yeah, so it looks like you're being celebrated. Yeah, three of cups, three of swords. You guys could be seeing three, three, three. Six, six, six is here. Okay, but 
definitely a, probably a third party situation but there's like a lot of things taken off for you here um cancer this could be you maybe in a long-term commitment or you're signing a contract or contracts here but whatever these contracts you're you're, you're signing yourself into are going, it's going to make you happy i feel like um You're just conforming to what spirit is asking you to do at this time. And it's bringing about happiness, success, victory. Things are taking off really good. I mean, really fast for you. Whatever these things are that you're achieving. Yeah, somebody's just mad because you're taking off. Some of you guys can have communication coming in from someone. But let's see what this is. Because the Eight of Wands could just talk about... It could talk about travel. Some of you guys are getting ready to travel. Yeah, Knight, Knight of Wands with Three of Wands. Okay, or something like that. But let's see. What's the sun? Okay, the Six of Cups. So this could be you having, like, fun. This could be your inner child here. You guys could be healing your inner child. You're just happy. I feel like you're having fun. You're in a playful mood or you're going to be. Um, I feel like you're very gifted as well. Your gifts are paying off here. You guys could be spiritual gurus. You could be some type of leader. But definitely, or somebody in a position of authority. But definitely, your gifts are your gifts and they're destined for you to have so this could be a, a something here that happened in your past you guys could be spending more time with your children too having more time um uh, you know yeah spending more time with them playing with them getting to know them more you know but the six of cups definitely talks about playful energy having fun childlike energy healing your inner child especially with the sun right here some of y'all could be pregnant okay but this could be somebody from your past that has this going on too. They've been dealing with the third party and the third party is getting their karma for trying to like do something to y'all's connection or something. Somebody from your past that could it could be nostalgic. They're thinking about you. They see that you're their happiness. They make you happy. Somebody could want to like reconcile with you or be your friend again or something like that. Or it could be a friend of yours. Somebody that you grew up with that was, I guess they call themselves being nice to you throughout the years but they really didn't like your ass for real or something like that but what's the eight of wands mm -hmm. yeah the ten of cups yeah so this is nice some of you guys are getting married you're creating a family of your own here i just heard something about you relocating or you're moving you could you could be uh moving in with your person or or getting a new home for your children here something bigger nicer more luxurious or or whatever whatever it is is yours so it don't matter if it's luxurious or not but i'm getting you're definitely glowing up here but the ten of cups is feeling complete emotional fulfillment feeling happy okay this is definitely fertility too the sun with the ten of cups so a lot of fertile energy you could just be creating but some of you guys are starting a family because you could be pregnant okay you could be going into a higher level of commitment but something has taken off. It could just be you feeling happy, feeling joyful, like feeling good. So that looks nice. What's the Hierophant? Okay, the Emperor. Wow, yeah. So for some of you, you guys are getting married to your Emperor or your whoever your Divine Masculine is. And Divine Masculine does not have to be a twin. It could be somebody that's in Divine Energy that's going to give you what you want right now because you're meant to have it right now. You're meant to be happy right now and forever, right? Or you're meant to fulfill this contract with this person right now, right? Because you have lessons to learn from them and things that you deserve right now. I feel like you deserve whatever this is coming in. But definitely somebody is committing to you or... Some of you guys could be starting a business here. You're you're uh, leading or you're a ma you're taking on a manager position in, in your business or you are growing your business or something like that. But I feel like the emperor is somebody that takes action. They're very assertive. They're going to put that work in. This is somebody that's um, wants something stable or they are very stable so they can give you um, this life and this family that you want because this person here means business right yeah this is somebody that's a kindred spirit that's going to love you and take care of you with the lovers yeah the chariot the empress yeah taurus libra cancer there's you with the chariot and the lovers gemini somebody could be on the taurus gemini cusp but definitely a beautiful relationship happiness this is so nice you know and somebody else is shady they're mad as fuck and that's fine <laughs> who gives a fuck who cares really who cares so all right What's disappointment right here? 
the strength card, Leo energy, the tower. What's disappointment with the strength in the tower? The knight of pentacles, seven of swords. So I feel like if somebody here has disappointed you or made you feel left out in the cold or some type of way, or they didn't handle you with care or whatever the fuck, I feel like you're overcoming this, this tower. Whatever this tower is or whatever's being exposed, you're going to be able to overcome it. Your hard work here is going to pay off. Definitely you're a hard worker. You're very responsible, dependable, reliable. Like, you're good. Okay. Uh, somebody could have disappointed you as far as your finances goes. Maybe that's why they were moving really slow. But slow and steady wins the race, right? This could be this other person's money slowing down. They could be really in their ego or really feeling some type of way, but they're hiding it. They're trying to put on this front as if they're okay, but they're disappointed that something didn't go in their favor or this trickster energy. They couldn't get away with it. Could be a Leo here, Aries, Scorpio. What's um this Knight of Pentacles? Okay, Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody's like stuck. They feel restricted. Their money is moving slow as fuck. I don't even feel like that's you. Hmm. Yeah, eight of swords. You guys could be saying 888 or 88 could be significant. Yeah, definitely 888. Yeah, this eight of swords. Something is just like somebody is like in fear. They're stuck. They feel trapped. Yeah, something slowed down in their life or they have to work extra, extra hard for something. What's this tower? Okay, yeah, the world in reverse. They're burdened. Whoever this is that's going through this tower, all this chaos, this drama, this something is falling apart in someone's life. But it's it's for them to transform and do better. If they don't come out of this and do better, then I don't know. Mm -hmm. They're just going to keep repeating the same shit, whoever the fuck this is. But the world in reverse is a burden, a goal that has not been achieved. Somebody's disappointed because something that they wanted or did was not achieved something slowed down or you slowed down giving to them or if this is your masculine it could be right like i don't know but yeah i feel like you know it's a no for you <laughs> but the world is definitely a burden and it's something here that is that failed it didn't work because you show strength you're very confident you're brave like What's the strength card? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you stay grounded as well. You stay grounded. I feel like you handle a situation very maturely in a in a kind manner. You know, somebody here could have been trying to fuck with your finances or slow your finances down. I feel like you just glowed up overnight. Like I feel like you have over some type of overnight success or. Some type of some type of strength that you had that somebody underestimated. They thought that they could like do something to you and it didn't work. It backfired on their ass. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that's very generous. They're kind. They're stable. They're good with their finances here. Yeah, somebody really tried to make you look bad or fuck you over. Yeah, like, please. So let's see. Now this person could be having money problems. What's this money problems right here? Six of Swords, Ace of Wands. What else for money problems? Four of Wands. <laughs> it looks like you're not Cancer. Some of y'all could definitely be relocating. You're moving. You're traveling or going somewhere. But Six of Swords is like things calming down, moving to calmer waters. Definitely, like I said, travel or relocation could be here. Could be significant, but your spirit guides are guiding you here. You are becoming more stable. Definitely, there could be a nice relationship coming in for you. 1919 on the timer. You guys could be seeing 1919 or 919 could be significant. But definitely, whatever you do for work here, I feel like you're growing up in your career, your whatever your path is right now. You have a lot of supporters here. Some of y'all could be getting married. You could be going somewhere really nice to get married, or I don't know. But definitely stability is here. You feel you feel secure. Okay, some of you guys could be like um, being like introduced to your soul tribe, meeting new people, but some type of celebration for some of you guys, you're reuniting with somebody or but this could be just be a celebration. I'm getting like a housewarming, a beautiful I'm getting somebody with a beautiful home here. 
I don't know why I keep getting like a luxurious, like really nice home. That is your energy cancer. Y'all like a nice home. Just like us Tauruses, like we love a, a beautiful home uh, or a comfortable one. Whatever's beautiful for you. As long as it's comfortable and neat and clean and smelling good, like that's that's our energy, right? But yeah. But this is something that you're passionate about. So I feel like something is taking off in your life. Whoever's having these money problems, I guess that's just their issue. They're, that's their problem. Like, I don't know. What's, what's the four of wands? Definitely you're stable, you're secure. Okay, ten of wands. Yeah, you've gotten tired of something. Some of you guys were taking care of somebody in a household or trying to upkeep a house or a family situation. That shit got tiresome. It's, it's boring now. I feel like it's too much responsibility here. It's too much going on. So I feel like you walked away. Some of you guys are walking away from a home. Because whoever you have this home with or you share this home with, they are not doing their part or something like that. But the Ten of Wands is a burden. It's a, it's, I feel like you're walking away. You're fed up with something. Or this person here, they're trying to upkeep a home situation. They're burdened. They're going to end up having to leave. Somebody could be packing and walking out or leaving. Or this is somebody having to pack up their shit. They could be getting, somebody could be getting evicted or like getting put out or something. You could be kicking somebody out for some of you. Yeah, and going to court for your children here. If you have children with this person. Yeah. What's this Ace of Wands? Yeah, somebody's like moving. There's like moving. Yeah. The Death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, something here is over. You're transforming. A new you is emerging. A new passion for life. And like new adventures. Having more fun. I feel like whatever this was that was burdening you. This could just be somebody in your family like giving you a hard time. Or or somebody you had a family with. Or you have one with, right? Because you can't get rid of family. But y'all know what I'm saying. Right? Um, somebody could be married here and they're having money problems. They, they could be married and they're struggling with their finances with this person. If they're with somebody else. Because it does say moocher. They could be using someone or... I don't know. But... Let's see. Yeah, but a transformation is happening in your life. You're dropping these burdens. I feel like whatever is stressing you out is going to be dropped. So you so a new beginning can happen. Or you guys could be working on something creative that's going to bring about... If you're having money issues, it's going to um help you financially. What is this Six of Swords? Okay, so yeah, there's a disappointment. Five of Cups. Somebody could be sad or in regret or or feeling a certain type of way that you've moved on. You're moving out or whatever. Or you're just looking back at the past just to take a look back and, and review it and grieve it and let it go, right? But I feel like somebody's mad that you moved on. Some of you guys could have moved at a distance or moved away from someone already. And you're starting a new life somewhere else while somebody else is like struggling, whoever it is. You know, and you know, what a shame, but people need to start, stop, like they need to start fucking thinking about the shit that they do before they do it. Thinking about the consequences. People just do shit, you know, for selfish ass reasons or because they're jealous or insecure or whatever the fuck their problem is. And then want to look like this when shit don't go their way. Like, tragic, but let's see. Let's see, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer Spirit? So bottom of the deck is Galaxy Wheel. It says what goes around comes around. Yeah, the wheel is turning in your favor, an invitation to turn things around. And that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, Ascension, travel. Definitely some of y'all are moving or or traveling somewhere. What's Gal... Okay. I said it was Galaxy Wheel. I meant to say what else for Cancer. What else for Cancer Spirit? so we have the masculine so for some of you it could be a masculine here that's going through this or something like that because the masculine did come out the emperor but it says examine how you feel about men use the power of masculine energy a male will play a role in your life yeah it could be one here whoever this male is 
for some of you, a masculine here is married. They're married, they're stuck in a marriage, or they're stuck taking care of a home that they don't want to be in. For others of you, you have a true divine masculine in your life that's going to build build with you. They want a family with you. They they see you as somebody that they could really settle down with, right? Yeah, but we have travel. Go someplace you've never been and adventure awaits. Travel will open your heart. Yeah, then we have endings. This chapter has closed. New things will come your way. Closure happens when you let go. Yeah. Then we have supernatural. Your spirit guides are speaking to you. Make contact with the spirit world. Develop your psychic abilities. Owl spirit. Look for the stable signs around you. Uncover your hidden potential. You're wiser beyond your years. All right. Then we have dreams. Your dreams are valid. Pay attention to your dreams. You're a dreamer of great dreams. I feel like your dreams are coming true. Whatever you manifested for yourself is happening. Yeah, so we have dear spirit. Be watchful of your predators. Stay diligently aware of opportunities and don't let others abuse your kindness. Bottom of the deck, yeah, manipulation. Figure out the true motives. Shed light on what is concealed. Wait for more to be revealed. What's this dear spirit right here for cancer? What's dear spirit? Cheetah spirit. Remain focused on your goals. You can easily outrun your enemy. Prepare to act quickly. Who had that? Gemini? You could be dealing with the Gemini. I mean, Virgo, sorry. So, yeah. There is an enemy here, obviously, that's like getting their karma. They're miserable. So be mindful of that. You know, misery loves company cancer. So, you know... It looks like things are going good for you, though. Focus on the positive, and that's how this cycle is going to be completed even faster, right? Just focus on the positive. Stay strong. Keep going. Like, listen to your spirit guides, your angels, <clears throat> and you're fine. It looks like it. It looks like you're good, you know? Yeah, so let me know in the comments how this resonated. Like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.